Hi, my name is Aaron Graham. Uh, I'm an artist uh, from Nashville. Uh, I currently live in Fairview, but I've lived uh, in and around Nashville my entire life. When I was growing up, I wanted to do everything. I wanted to be an engineer, I wanted to be a makeup artist, I wanted to be a Major League Baseball player. Uh, uh, for a short time, I wanted to rescue people uh, by uh, swinging from tree to tree and just rescuing them somehow. Um, but it's funny because I never wanted to be an artist. You know, that, that was never even a, uh, um, I don't know, that, that was just something that I didn't think that people did, I didn't really know about. Uh, and it wasn't until probably late high school that I started uh, even considering doing something like that. I would say before, say pre-2005, my art, uh, I did a lot of different styles. Everything from comic book styles to uh, huge oil abstracts to gesso transfers and all sorts of things. Uh, in 2005 is when um, my kind of current um, child, childhood style uh, started. Um, and when I, when I started that, it was very simple. It was very flat. Um, I think the ideas were there. Uh, it, it all stemmed out of my wife uh, suggesting that I start incorporating, you know, these little doodles and things that I'd always drawn uh, into my art. And so I started do doing these, but um, uh, over the years, I've definitely started uh, changing them by building up a lot of uh, textures and a lot more layers and uh, I used to do all of my lines with charcoal and now I do them with um, uh, different uh, paints and I think uh, my line quality is a lot different and I've also started over the last couple of years kind of getting back into my love for abstracts and so uh, in a way I have my, my primary style that people kind of know uh, then I also do some abstracts uh, which I just think are fun because it's like an entirely different mindset. Um, and so for the future, I, I see the two merging, which they, they kind of have started a little bit. Like uh, a lot of my abstracts are not 100% abstract. I'll, I'll put like little, little things in there that you may not even see until you really kind of get close or I might uh, incorporate some words and things into them. But um, I definitely, I, I like both worlds and I, I think that I'm just gonna keep doing more and more to um, to bring them together. When, I'm, when I sit down to make a piece of art, um, I approach it one of two ways. The, the primary way is um, I, ha I essentially have the finished piece in my head when I start. I know, I know pretty much exactly what I'm gonna do um, and set out to do it, but, and, and then the whole time I just, I let myself be open to serendipity, to uh, mistakes and keeping them or leaving them and, changing my mind along the way. Uh, yeah, so the, uh, this Love Each Other uh, piece is actually a mural um, downtown on 2nd Avenue. I painted this in, um, I think, July of 2020. It was right after the, uh, the George Floyd uh, incident and there were some uh, unrest and rioting and, and, and looting and things downtown. And so a lot of the business owners um, had had their windows broken out. And so uh, several artists, uh, we were asked to kind of help brighten things up. And so they put plywood over the, where the windows had been broken. And so um, uh, I, I wasn't given any direction other than just something uplifting, something to make people happy. Um, and so love each other seemed like the best message to kind of give at the time. And uh, this piece is, it's a, a piano. Uh, being played by uh, uh, hands of all sizes and shapes and colors, um, all uh, playing at the same time, creating one melody. And uh, the rainbow and the bird on top of the rainbow is there for hope. Um, and uh, I painted this in the course of two days. Um, my son and my wife helped me out with that. And uh, it was supposed to be up for a week or two at the most, and um, it's been, I don't know, getting close to two years and it's still up, um, which is neat. Um, and so yeah, that, uh, I've, I've since, I've done that a couple more times like on canvas, uh, but that, that's the original. Birds to me um, represent people. Um, I could paint people in my paintings, but I paint birds, one, because that's, um, 
as something left over from my childhood. Uh, I enjoyed drawing and painting birds. Um, everybody knows uh, what birds are. And then I think that that, that allows me to um, put a bunch of personality in, in my paintings that I think anybody can relate to because they don't represent um, this type of person or that type of person. I think anybody can relate to them. And so um, that's, that's really why I like using birds. And then honestly, they're fun to paint. <laughs> they're fun to paint. Um, I, th I think they're, uh, they're neat to look at. And um, I don't know who doesn't like birds. If I could have dinner with any artist, I, I think I would have to choose Banksy because uh, I have a lot of questions I could ask that guy. Um, if he does not reveal himself to me, uh, I'd love to have dinner with Shepard Fairey. Uh, I've been fascinated by his career. Um, and then if we could go to, over the language barrier, I'd love to sit down with uh, Picasso. I just, uh, I think he would probably demolish me in a conversation, but uh, I, I think I would just love being around that guy. I've loved art as long as I can remember. Um, I think what I've loved has changed and grown um, but uh, yeah, from my earliest memories, I've, I've loved uh, looking at art and making art.